Greetings YouTube and welcome to another bargain bonanza. This is stuff I picked up on the same day of hitting an estate sale and a couple of yard sales, or at least one yard sale I think it was. So the first thing I picked up was that bag down there, which is full of hinges. There are 80 hinges in that bag, which is actually really damn heavy. Um, which I found out the hard way because I hurt my leg earlier in the week and discovered that my leg was not as recovered as, as much as I thought it was because 80 hinges is not light. Um, and it was eight bucks, so I paid 10 cents a hinge for that bag. Uh, I'll have hinges for everything I need, both in my home and in my projects for the foreseeable future, probably for the rest of my life. Um, I have this, which is a folding screen, so it's got hinges. Then this thing folds out into a four panel screen. I don't know what it was originally for. Um, it's heavy gauge uh, sheet metal. Uh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it was eight bucks. I actually got less than that. I think I paid about, about six bucks for this because they were trying to move stuff. Um, and that's a lot of sheet steel in case I want to use it for a project. That's, that's very cheap for that much steel. Um, at the same place, I got the rest of this stuff as well. I got this, I think this is for masonry. I just thought it was kind of cool. Nice little grip. Maybe I'll do something with that, who knows what. This, um, which is part of some kind of, you know, a union or, or or for a hoister. I have no idea what this was originally for. It was on the floor. Um, but I picked that up. I figured I might be able to use that for something. I don't know what. This piece of sheet steel. It's old and rusty, which is just my aesthetic, which I think is very cool. This tin o tools, which made me smile, which is a tiny little tool kit. Isn't that awesome? Just made me smile. I'll have to do a, a review on that in some detail. Um, some cup hooks, which I actually find useful occasionally when I want to hang up wires and stuff on my ceiling. A couple of S-hooks, S -hooks, a exacto cinch four corner clamp system. Um, for the, the amount I paid for it, it was dirt cheap and maybe I can find a use for that. Uh, this piece of small scale uh, uh, signpost kind of thing, that I'm sure I'll be able to use. I, actually, I already have an idea for at least this end of it already. Um, and an Emerson radio. Now, I actually own an Emerson radio on my bench right now, but it's an it's a more advanced model because it's got a DVD player on it. Um, and it's but it's old, it's bulky, and it's doesn't tune all that well. This is smaller, um, and will take up less space. And I, I like Emerson, so I was dirt cheap. I think I paid four bucks for it. Um, so that was uh, that was an awesome deal for that. And uh, very happy with this. In addition to these things, I also my wife also picked up a floaty key bob, you know, kind of thing you put keys on when you wear out, out in the water so you don't drop them and have them sink. Um, as well as a wooden train kit, like a Christmas tile kit, which she that, and it was something else she got too. I can't remember what it was, but I got the whole deal for like 18 bucks, the whole whole lot I think when I was done for 18 bucks. So that wasn't too bad of a deal at all. This is a lot of stuff that I'll be able to use in my shop. This, of course, will end up in some kind of build. This might be end up in a build, or might just end up as in, in some kind of infrastructure, hanging something or you're mounting something on a wall or something or off my one of my uh, uh, rafters. This is going to end up as a handle to something probably. Well, again, I got this too, which is a, uh, a large three-quarter inch bolt with a nut. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with that for, but it's always handy to have big bolts like this because occasionally I do have to bolt large scale things together and these are not cheap, and I got this for next to nothing. So, like I said, go to yard sales, go to estate sales, you will find cheap things that you will not regret. Um, and if you would, I mean, there was stuff, there was all kinds of things at this place that I did not get into. There were tools available, there was furnishings, there was a lot of woodworking things in the, in the, in the garage that just aren't my bag. A lot of gardening stuff too. Some of it was kind of pretty, pretty nice, and again, not my thing, so I didn't do that. But you can get so many things at these types of sales, particularly if you're going to get them on like a Sunday or you know uh, on the second weekend or something. They're really trying to move stuff. You know, <laughs> if it's a three-day sale, go on day three if you want to get the really cheap stuff. Go on day one if you want to get pick at the crop. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. This this, this makes me smile. And I actually already have an idea for um, some of those hinges uh, that I want to use in something. I want to make a new, a new mace uh, with a slightly different design. I've used hinges in the maces before. Now I want to use them in a slightly different way. Um, so, like I said, go to estate sales, go to yard sales. You can find cool stuff.